All right, let's take a look at some health news today. Various sources are reporting that Rolling Stones lead singer Mick Jagger is scheduled to have heart surgery this week in New York City. So this news comes just days after the legendary rock band announced the postponement of their American tour in the wake of unnamed medical issues. Jagger stated on Twitter, I'm so sorry to all of our fans in America and Canada with tickets. I really hate letting you down like this. I'm devastated for having to postpone the tour, but I will be working very hard to be back on stage as soon as I can can once again huge apologies to everyone so fans from around the world are surprised about the news and they have questions and concerns absolutely let's talk about heart disease and um, I absolutely hope that uh, Mick Jagger is okay yeah. um, and that he recovers well from this um, how could this be something okay so clearly he didn't have a heart attack hopefully yeah right but what are some of the steps that would have led him to know that he had a heart problem that needed to be replaced so I wanted Next. to talk about this specifically just because there's a lot of hypothetical things kind of around in the news and so people understand from you know did he have a heart attack we don't know does he have heart disease blockage, Maybe a yeah. blockage we don't know uh, to valve disease you know is he having coronary disease uh, re replacement or is he having a valve replacement so first just to understand the basics of the heart the heart system in itself they're both heart disease to be clear they both fall under that umbrella the heart is a system made up of uh, chambers and uh, with subsystems and the main system like the electrical system let's just call that it communicates uh, the chambers communicate with each other just telling the heart to beat we got the circulatory system that part of the heart that's you know giving nourishment to the heart itself just like it provides nourishment to the body the heart has to sustain itself then we have the valvular system the valve system that we're questioning now we have two valves on the left and we have two valves on the right both of their job is to keep that blood pumping forward forward through the lungs and then forward through the body and then the muscular system let's think of that as like the power system that's squeezing the heart together propelling that blood forward now talking about the diseases in question it's perfectly normal for Mick Jagger to have any sort of heart disease right he's 75 mm -hmm. years yeah. old he's 75 I know really? it's impressive right mm -hmm. he's and, still touring that's amazing and calcium builds up in our arteries by the time you're 75 years old 10 to 12 percent of people have valve disease on that left side of the heart propelling your blood forward and about 65 percent of adults over 65 have some sort of calcification by the time you're 75, your heart beats about 2.7 billion times. Oh, wow. That's if you're a healthy, you know, average 70 beats per minute, say. So that's a lot of times. So, right, th things start to fail. So those right. valves in question that we're talking about become leaky. Uh, they can't push the blood forward. So I just kind of, so people can kind of understand. It's really hard to speculate. And not one doctor or hospital, we really don't know yet where he's going or how he's being treated. So what do we know specifically about Jagger's situation? Well, we do know all these, you know, floating around. And I did talk to some uh, cardiac surgeons and cardiologists presenting what his age is. It's, you know, we're hypothetically speaking, it's, it's you know, could be valve disease. So that we know. But then again, every patient's different. Yeah. Everyone presents differently. We have HIPAA. We're protecting his privacy. And, you know, when his, um, so, when his sort of uh, people close to him and his doctors feel like it's appropriate, then we'll know more. Um, what are some of the heart valve symptoms that people can look out for themselves? Well, this is the thing about heart valve uh, disease, which is interesting. A lot of it's, it's common but it goes underdiagnosed and undertreated according to doctors and if you have heart valve disease 50 percent of those people with heart disease or valve di disease i'm sorry uh will pass away within a couple of years so it's very serious it leads to heart failure your heart's working harder to get that blood forward so you might have chest pain the blood's backing up you might have shortness of breath you have swelling in your extremities you're dizzy because that blood's not getting to your brain so right. it's just some things to look at. Very good. Rosemary, you always leave us with something to think about. Oh, we appreciate well, thank you. it. I'm now <laughs> thinking about all the things that can go wrong with my heart. Well, there you go. Okay. All right, let's stay heart healthy. In the meantime, how about some beautiful weather? That could